Global Energy has been here before. And uh, we also welcome everyone to sit back and enjoy and join in Banerjee Kaka. So we are about Banerjee at this time. Praying Sibulu Kajanan, Swami Ki, Jay. Jay Jay Sitaram Sadkoi. Thank you very much, Mr. G, members of the Lakshmi Narayan Mandir. Let us all sit upright for a few minutes. As we sit upright, let us clasp our hands, bow our heads, and close our eyes. As our minds have already begun the purification with the rendition of those beautiful bhajans sung by all just a few minutes ago, creating that energy, creating that shakti for a beautiful evening of devotion in this period of Ganesha itself. Take a deep breath, devotees, as you fill the lungs with positive vibrations and a beautiful, sweet smelling incense of Agarbati. Let it flow through every cell of the body as you exhale, any negativities will flow. Take another deep breath. Infuse that Shakti of Ganapati Bhagavan into the mind. Drop your shoulders and relax, and then exhale when you can. And take one more deep breath. With this breath, we hold it for a few seconds, and we release, saying, Aum. Mohan Muralyan Shang, 
Lord Krishna. As he blows his mystical Vasudhi, purifying the air, purifying all of our chakras in this body, we ask the Lord to bless us. Devaki Paramanandam Krishna Mande Jagad Guru Yada Yada Hidharmasya Glanir Bhavati Bhagata Abhidhana Masadharmasya Tadarmanam Srijanya Paritranaya Sadhuna Vinashaya Chadushkrita Dharma Samstha Pranatha Sambhavani Yuge Yuge Hariyo 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 Prince of Bhakti Vindravan Vihari Lala Eej Radhe Radhe The Swami Tulsi Rashti wrote in the Sri Ramachandra Mahas, Chapter 1, Shloka 1, Balkan. This beautiful prayer glorifying Bhagavan Sri Ganesha, Mother Sarsuti, Mother Bani, the goddess of speech, and glorifying the Sri Vali, the original of Dr. Ramayana. It is called Mangala Ashtakam. We chant from Sri Ramachandra Mahas, Balkan. Varnanam Artha Sandhana Rasanam Chanda Sambhapi Mangalanam Chakkartaro Vande Vani Vinayato Bhavani Shankaro Vande Shraddha Vishwas Rupino Yabhyamina Siddhaha Swantastam Yishwaram Bande Bodha Maya Nityam Guru Shankar Rupinam Yama Shritohi Vakropi Chandraha Sarvat Bandhye Sita Ram Guna Gram Punya Aranya Vrivahrina Bande Vishuddh Vidyana Kavishwar Kapishwar Prince of Bhagavan Ramachandra Ki Jai My dear mothers and fathers, my parents as well listening to us down in Trinidad, my dear gurus, reverend pandits, panditas, uncles and aunties, nieces and nephews, friends, brothers and sisters, children. Firstly, I must say it's an honor and a pleasure to be amongst you this evening here at Lakshmi Narayan Mandir in Houston, to all the musicians as well. And I must say thanks to my Didi Shireen Ji and Roshan Ji for helping to arrange and coordinate tonight's satsang, this program. Blessings, of course, to Baby Ishta as well. Tonight, I also would like us all to extend to one of my mothers. She is in New York City. She hails from Guyana. And she celebrated her 77th birthday just yesterday. But what makes this mother very special is that she is visually impaired. She's blind. But she's one of the most devout devotees of Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Mataji, Chandravati, Muniramji, if you're listening, I'm sure you are tonight. Happy, happy birthday. Janandin Kobidhai from all of us here at Lakshmi Narayan Mandir in Houston. Blessed are we to be amongst each other in the satsang. You know, Goswami Tulsi Rashi tells us in Ramayana, Satya Samagama Hari Katha Tulsi Tudlabadoi Sutadara or Lakshmi Papi Kevi Hoi. This meeting tonight was not by accident or was not by invitation or text message. We are here present in satsang in front of all these beautiful murtis in this beautiful ashram because of some past good deed, past karma that we have performed to be in the company of each other. And in truth, sat means truth. Let us purify our minds, bodies, and souls. Oh, Lord Ganesha, we are in the Ganesha Utsav period. This 10 or 11 days, very auspicious. 
Oh Lord Ganesha, heal this planet from all negativities that are affecting us today. To those of you joining us online as well, to the online social media parivar, I say to you, Jai Shri Ganesha, Namaskar. Oh Lord, remove all obstacles in my path so that I may be successful, so we may be successful in our endeavors. Tonight, let us blend our beautiful voices and glorify the Lord of the Gunners, the darling son of Mother Parvati and Lord Shiva. Gajanan Swami. Prem Simulu Gajanan Swami Ki Jai. O Jai Jai Ganapati Jai Ganapati Jai Ganesh Jai Ganapati Jai 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 Ganapati Sing along, play along, come on. Ganapati
प्रेम समल गजानन स्वामी की जय 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 गणपति फील द एनर्जी फील दैट शक्ति द वाइब्रेशंस एमिनेटिंग फ्रॉम दैट मूर्ति ऑफ द सुप्रीम बीइंग इन आवर लाइव्स भगवान हैज गिफ्टेड अस एट लीस्ट टू गुरुस यू नो हु दे आर exactly you get extra prasad to okay. matru deva bhava pitru deva bhava mother first then father but some of us have accepted a spiritual guru in the western world we say god father take that word out of your dictionary it's not god father it's guru ji guru ji and guru mai but is to them okay tonight wherever your gurus are if your parents have gone to the beyond or if they're still alive like mine hopefully they're joining us tonight i think they are pretty on tonight so that is not that that be on tonight pandit shri tulsi prasad ji my father and pitar ji and my mother is shri prasad ji guru matru pita guru bandhu sakha tere charano mein sai mere koti pranam madan father this friendship is born for life you always will reside in my heart devotees when life becomes difficult when you feel like there's no one else in this world to turn to and if our physical biological mother is still alive you know fully well you can do whatever wrong in this world that you like hopefully you don't do anything wrong but once you go back to your mother she will embrace you but even more so the mother of this universe jagadambe bhavani shankar ma She loves all her children, you and I equally. Tonight we sing this beautiful bhajan, glorifying the Guru. Wherever your gurus are tonight, subliminally bow to their lotus feet and seek their blessings. When Guruji speaks, it is supposed to awaken that shakti, that power of love that's in your heart to make you relax. Pray in the name of the Guru Maharaj Ki Jai. Sing with me. Guru Matru Pita, Guru Ban. गुरु मातृ पिता गुरु तेरे
So the order of worship, as we always do, Ganesha, Pratama Pujya, Lord Ganesha, Guru, and then the Divine Mother. In this order, devotees, we glorify her as giving victory to you, O Mother Ambe, Bhavani Shankarma, the indweller of our hearts, who dwells in Shirdi and Parati. Jai, Jai, Bhavani Ma. Clap your hands, devotees, and sing to the top of your voices now. This is done in Garba style. Sarva Mangal Mangalye Shive Sarvat Sadhike Sharanya Trambake Hori Narayani Namaste Jai Jai Bhavani Ma Ambe Bhavani Ma Once again, for those of you just joining us, especially those of you online as well, we are live this evening here at the Lakshmi Narayan Mandir. What is the name of this city? Houston. No, no, I know in Houston, but this local, how is how this called? Houston. It's still Houston. Houston. Okay, all right. In Miami, we have little pockets, you know, we have little Havana, little Cuba, all these little things. We have a little Trinidad yet. The north side of Houston. North side of Houston, thank you. Pardon me, it's my throat is a bit dry, sorry. Once again, thank you and welcome. Some time ago, my little son, you all know we were just talking about him, Pandit Keshav Ji. He approached me you know, and he says, Daddy, tell me about this elephant-headed fellow called Ganesha. His exact words. You know. And why does he ride on a little paw mouse, that big heavy fellow on a little paw mouse? So I said to him, son, listen as I will attempt to narrate some of the glories of this great Devata, Ganesha. Today, we are in the 28th Kali Yuga. 27 have already gone. And the lyricist says in this next bhajan, Satyuga recorded this instance. Satyuga ki ek baat batai, girija suti ki katha sunai. It happened in Satyuga, the lyricist says, listen, O devotee, the son of Mother Parvati, it was early morning and there was no one to guard Parvati Ma. So she made a little statue of Murti of clay and infused life into it. And she asked him not to let anyone in without her permission while she took her bath. Let us blend our voices and sing this beautiful bhajan. बात बताए गिरिजा सुत की कथा सुनाए Oh, 
ओम जपे गणपति स्त्रोत्र शब्द हनुमासी फलम लवे संवत्सरे न सिद्धि चा लभे नत्र सनाशय अष्ट ब्राह्मो यष्टि लिखित भाया समर्पय तस्य विद्या भवे सर्व गणेश प्रसिद्ध श्री नारद पुराण संकट नाशम गणेश स्त्रोत्र संपूर्ण प्रेम से बोल गजान स्वामी की जय ओम गम गणपत ये नम For the next few minutes, devotees, let us focus tonight on the Ganesha principle. Ganesha, two syllables, Gana and Isha. Gana means all creations. Isha, of course, or Isha. We just spoke about this. It means the Lord, the Lord of all creations, Ganesha. Ganapati is the word. What we mean by this? The word is Om. When we speak of Ganesha, we speak of Om. If you ever look at the shape of the Om, the way the Om is written, inverse with the little tail and the eye. And if you look at the Om carefully, you will actually see the face of Ganesha. In writing, in any sort of studies, in any sort of in any project that involves writing or script. Once you install that image of Lord Ganesha on the very first page on a book, if you look at my books, you will see Lord Ganesha's emblem is on the first page. I draw it in because when you install Ganesha firstly in anything that you do—reading, writing, studying, building a home—the first post that you will install, any and all obstacles, what happens to them? They disappear because he's a remover of obstacles. That's all we ask him for, O oh Lord. Remove any obstacles from our path so that we may be successful. Devotees in the Holy Bible, I quote from the Bible. It says, "In the beginning, John one that one. In the beginning, there was a word, and that word was with God. And my dear devotees, that word was Om, ah, Om, ah, Om. As human beings, every single one of us, we breathe ten thousand eight hundred times in twenty-four hours." Thus, in 24 hours, we breathe in and out. We divide it by half, 21,600 times. And whenever we breathe in, we say "so" with the inhale, inhalation. So, hum, every breath. So, hum. And what does this mean? So hum. I am Him. I and my Father are one. This is the Ganapati principle, devotees. If with every breath we remember Om or remember Ganesha. Then how could any word, any thought, and especially, especially any deed, any action, be something that the gods would not permit? Would be atharmic, would be hurt, hurtful. The words that we speak, harsh words. In a doctor's office, in a medical office, we have any doctors in the house? Any any doctors in the mandir? No. Anybody who works in a medical office? Okay. There's something called the caricus, right? The staff, that emblem, with two serpents wrapped around a coil. On the top of the coil, it represents the ida. On the left side, the nostril, the ida represents the moon, and on the right side represents the pingala, which is the sun. The staff that has these two serpents represents the spinal cord. In yoga, it's called the shushumna nadi. In the base of the the spinal cord, right down to the base, is this, one of the seven major chakras called the mooladhara chakra. Lord Ganesha resides in this chakra. Bhavani Shankar Mata resides in this chakra, the base chakra, and the sun and the moon maintains our bodily temperature. What is our bodily temperature? Normally, ninety-eight point four Fahrenheit. We're talking about. If it goes above a hundred, what happens? Look for Doctor Sampat. <laughs> the moon and Hara chakra. There's a serpent that is coiled. Three and a half times, with its head facing downwards, and when the Kundalini Shakti is open, that serpent, the snake, sort of moves up chakra by chakra. It goes from the Mooladhara, the base chakra, Swadhisthan chakra, the Manipura chakra, which is the navel, the Anahata chakra, which is the heart, the Vishuddhi chakra, which is the throat, the Ajniya chakra, right between the eyebrows, and all the way up to the Shahastarar chakra. This is when the Kundalini Shakti is open now, and this 
Shahasara Chakra opens. It's like a lotus petal. This is all yoga. And how do we open these chakras? You see what we are doing this evening? Singing, Kirtan, the nine forms of devotion. By practicing yoga, by meditation. Each of these chakras, they are assigned a specific color. So if the room is lit in a specific color, it awakens that energy in the chakra. They also are tuned to a sound frequency. The musicians will tell you each sound has a specific frequency. It's measured in hertz. That frequency, if it's played on an instrument or someone sings in that frequency, it opens the chakra. The Om, the sound of Om, if you say it after me, let's together, come on. Aum. That low frequency opens the Muladhara chakra, which is where Lord Ganesha is. So this is how the chakra is tied into Ganesha. Devotees, the aim of opening these chakras is to awaken the Ganapati principle. From Ganeshwood to Shiva hood, Shiva is on top. From Ganeshwood to Shiva hood, from Shakti to Shiva. Shakti is here as well. Brothers and sisters, to answer my son's question now, Keshavji, the reason for Ganeshji endowed himself or endowing now this elephant head. We know this story, we've heard this story many times, the Katha that is. Gajanana is another appropriate name for Lord Ganesha, Gajanana. And the derivative meaning of Gajanana is Ga, Ga means Gamyam or the gold. Ja means janma or birth and anna means space. So the goal of birth in this space. So this name indicates that Lord Ganesha is not merely one who has the face of an elephant, but he's a deity that enables us to go face to face with God. And that is the, the goal of human births. Many, many, you know, if you ask people around the world today, they will tell you the goal of life is to eat, drink, and be merry. The goal of life, according to Satya Sanatan Vedic Dharma and our scriptures, the Vedas and the Puranas, is to come face to face with God, to go back home to where we've all come from. Devotees, Vinayaka has the head of the elephant. And what is the significance of this? No, you, do you know of any human being who has an elephant head? No. It's against the order of nature. Then, how did Vinayaka acquire this elephant head? It has inner significance, not just a mere cutting of the head by Holy Nath. The elephant you see is a symbol of might and magnitude. Has anyone seen an elephant up close? Real life elephant, yes? Were you scared? Were you intrigued? No? Did the elephant raise his tusks and make a noise when he saw you? Yeah, I was on top of the tree. Oh, you were oh, okay, okay, Jai. <laughs> The elephant's foot is larger than any other animals. Sometimes they call a lion the king of the jungle, but when he sees an elephant, what happens? He goes in the other direction. I want a part of him. The elephant can make its way through the densest of jungles. And in this way, it signifies that he's a true quality of a leader. A leader who clears the path for others to follow. A leader who removes obstacles. In the life of an elephant, when an elephant most of the time will travel in a straight line because of the size of his body, it's very difficult to maneuver. So he goes in a straight line. When he comes upon a tree or an obstacle such as a large rock, you think he goes around it? No. You see those two ivory tusks that he has? He is called Vigneshwara. He lifts, it, lifts the obstacle and moves it out. And this is why we go before him. Oh Lord, Gajanan. Remove any and all obstacles to my life. The elephant is also highly intelligent. Very intelligent. It is also known for its fidelity and its gratitude. In any circumstance, the elephant will never forget its master. A dog may forget the master, but not the elephant. Even in its last moment, in its final moments, if it hears the voice of its master, the elephant opens his eyes and looks for that master. It will sacrifice its life for its master. And these are the lessons that we as men in this world to the humans should learn from the elephant. You see devotees, Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba tells us, intelligence without gratitude is valueless. I repeat, 
Intelligence without gratitude is valueless. Every man should be grateful, men and women, should be grateful to those who have helped us in the past. Never be ungrateful. And what is the inner significance of worshipping now this elephant-faced deity? One having a sharp brain is described as having the intelligence of an elephant. Have you ever heard this statement? Or you have the intelligence of an elephant. You have a sharp brain. There's a beautiful mantra that signifies this in the Rig Veda. I quote. Prem Sivurgajanan Swami Ki Jai Gananam Twa Ganapati Gum Hava Mahi Kavim Kavinam Upamash Ravasramam Jesh Rajam Brahmanam Brahmanas Pata Anam Shunyam Uddhisi Rasadhanam Prem Sivurgajanan Swami Ki Jai you are wisdom, O Ganapati, the mantra tells us. You are wisdom of the wise and the uppermost in glory. You are the foremost king of prayers, presiding as the lord of prayers, Brahmanaspati. The brain has something called Medha Shakti. And the elephant's large ears, it can hear even the minutest of sounds. Shravana, one of the nine forms of devotion, one of the nine spiritual steps. One should be sharp in hearing. And after one listens to something, you must process it, renumerate, renumerate around it, and put it into practice, which is termed, it is termed in our scriptures as Shravanam, Manana, and Nidhidhaya. The elephant takes the Dushana and Bhushana. What is Dushana and Bhushana? Dushana is praise and Bhushana is blame. How many of us here accept praise and blame the same way? In this world today, everyone is looking for a pat in the back. Boy, you're the best, you're a boss. But the minute you tell somebody, bad, man, you're terrible. I don't like the way you sound. I don't like what you do. People don't, in this world today, they're very unreceptive as to negatives as well. The elephant takes praise and blame equally. When it hears something bad, it moves his body this way and that way. And what it does, it shakes it out, it waves it off. So Lord Ganesha is telling us tonight, whether it's good or bad, Bhushan or Dhushana, treat it the same way. Treat me like a Teflon pan. Good? Slides off. Bad, same thing, slides off. Only accept what is good. So devotees, it hears something bad, it throws it away. Something good, it retains it. Ekadant, one tusk, it keeps the good and throws away the bad. Once, Mother Parvati and Parmeshwara, we call him Parmeshwara Lord Shiva, parents of Ganapati and Subramanyam. They wanted to test the intellect or the intelligence of their two sons. And of course, you have heard the story before, we'll, we'll, we'll summarize it quickly. They summoned the two sons and they told them to go around the world to find out which of the two would be the quickest. The elder of the two, Ganapati, he did not move from the spot where he was. And the younger son, Kartik or Subramanyam, he jumped on his peacock and set out now to conquer this world. With a great deal of effort, he completed the trip and came back now to approach his parents. Seeing him from a distance, Ganapati circumambulated his parents real quick. He went around his parents and he claimed to himself to be the winner. Then Mother Parvati says, Ganapati, here is your brother. Your brother Subramanyam, who has gone around the entire world, and you have not moved, you have just turned around this place. You made no effort at all. How can you claim to have gone around the world? How can I regard you as a winner, my son? And Lord Ganesha replied, Ma, the cosmos is the combination of matter and energy, the unity of father and mother. When I go around you, I have gone around the world itself since you are the parents of the cosmos. There is no place where you two are not present. Ganeshji continues. He says, I see your omnipresence, but by circumambulating the both of you, I can claim to have gone around this entire universe, the cosmos. And the moment he heard these words, devotees, Lord Shiva was astonished at the high intelligence of his son, Ganesha. And he realized now the truth about his divine parents. 
Lord Ganesha then turned to him and says, Vinayaka, you are exemplary, an exemplary son for all to follow. Devotees, if you know of any children, of any uh, children who are disrespectful to their parents, I hope not. In this world today, there are, there are some. I've, 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 I've had to come across some of these. Please share this little story or this katha with them and let them understand who their parents are. And if they ever want to have an opportunity to go back home to Godhead, please worship your parents while they are alive. Wash their feet, kiss their feet. Devotees, he says, we are your parents, Lord Shiva. He says, we are your parents, but not more intelligent than you. Lord Shiva is saying this, the Lord of his universe, Ganesh, Gan Ganapati. We are your parents, but we are not more intelligent than you. And he declared now, he says, I have many attributes. Lord Shiva has thousands of attributes, millions, but not your intelligence. Hence, before offering worship to me, all of mankind will offer worship to you. Prathama Pujye. And this is the boon I confer to you. Lord Shiva gave him this boon on that day. Lord Shiva is a parent who conferred such an honor to the high status of his own son. Hence, Ganapati represents no commonplace principle. He is the embodiment of all principles and potencies. He is the abode of every kind of intelligence. Devotee Saraswati is the goddess of wisdom. But Saraswati dwells in the belly of Ganesha in the stomach. So when we are performing puja to any of the deities, especially Saraswati, we go to her for music, the arts, knowledge. We must pay obeisances to Lord Ganesha. Devotees, we invoke him before any undertaking, as I, as I explained to you before. Once we do that, there can be no impediments. This next bhajan we sing tonight, it says, O oh Ganapati, the giver of happiness, I salute you. I don't have the intelligence or the intellect to describe your greatness. You are omnipotent and omnipresent in your form. We meditate upon you, your divine name. You are the beginning, you are the middle, you are the end. You are the sustainer and the protector, O oh Lord. It is my desire that I be born in you. You take final rest. Take final rest in your abode. My desire, O oh Lord, is to meditate at your feet and constantly remember you. Rain se bolo gajanan swami ki jai. Vigna haran gauri ke nandan Sumira sada suryadai Tulsidas jo karnapati sumire Koti vigna phaladamire Veda puran khata se pehle Jo sumire sukhdamire Ashti siddhi navani bhi lakshmi Mani cha Sukhvaran Prabhu Narayan Hi Dukharan Prabhu Narayan Hi Tilok Pati Nata Sukhdham Svikaro Shanti kaha do, mahima tumhari 
Ask for trivial things like passing examinations. I do it. Or getting jobs, even. You should only pray as follows according to Ganesh Puran. Oh, Vigneshwara. Say after me. Vigneshwara. Not Vigneshwara. Vigneshwara. Oh, Vigneshwara. Please see that there are no obstacles in what I wish to accomplish. Simple prayer. And you see, during these 11 days, it finishes next week, I think, next Wednesday. When, do, when is uh, Wednesday, right? Wednesday, yeah. During this period, is the most auspicious time to go before him. If you haven't done so tomorrow morning, wake up, take your shower, pray to Surya Nara and go before Lord Ganesha. Hold on to his feet. Hold on to his belly for that matter. Hey, Biganeshwara, please see that there are no obstacles in whatever I wish to accomplish. Simple prayer. I am worshipping you for this purpose. This is how we pray to him. People look upon the Ganeshwara, this festival, these 11 days, as some routine affair. Every year at this time, yes, we make the murti, perform these pujas and so forth. But the Ganeshwara embodies all the forms and all the powers of all the deities, not just a few. It is not enough to worship Ganesh once a year. It is not enough to worship Ganesh once a year. It is not enough to worship Lakshmi Ma once a year. When? On Diwali night. We must worship him always. And we must think of God in every moment of our lives. I just taught you a little yoga. When you say so, hum. When you think, when you become conscious of the breath. When you become conscious of the breath and every breath you are saying, Oh, that is the Ganesha principle. You are calling him. You are awakening your chakras. It is the spirit that everyone is enjoined to offer actions to please the deity, the deva. Laddus, dubras, and all these modak and so forth. Devotees, go anywhere you like. Do anything you please. But do everything with the feeling that it is to please the divine. If every thought, word, and action is to please the divine, then how can you commit sin? How can there be pap and punya? Whatever you do, do it for the love of God. Thereby you will accomplish all your desires and you will experience bliss. See the divine in everything. Vinayak is also called the Ganeshwara. We just, we just pronounce it the name properly. Because he removes all the obstacles that comes in, our ways of, comes in the ways of devotees who are praying. He is worshipped by students with books so that they all contained in the books will go into their heads. This is why on every book, you will notice at the front of the book, I have drawn that picture of Ganesha. Very simple. I'll, oh, I can teach you. Just draw it in. It looks like him. Once he is there, you will complete it. You will complete reading. You know, sometimes you start a book and you have a problem, you get half in, leave it in the shelf. Man. Maybe next year. Once you start it, you will finish once he's present. I guarantee it. Nowadays, people worship God. Some people, not everybody, for dhyanam, for money, for wealth. Whatever scholarship one may attain, whatever power, whatever position one may enjoy, 
one can never be happy without the peace of mind that is received from pure devotion. Pure devotion. And one may have physical strength. One may pursue the path of meditation and penance, go into the forest and meditate, become a yogi. One may acquire profound knowledge by studies. But all these attainments will be of no avail until one acquires their knowledge. Knowledge of the eternal. And that is called Satyam Jnanam Anandam Brahma. Satyam Jnanam Anandam Brahma. This next chant. Sal salutations to Lord Ganesha. The destroyer of obstacles. The elephant face son of Parvati and Shiva. The one who rides on the mouse. And the one who has modak this type of sweet in his hands. I'd like to all of you clap your hands tonight. Sing to the top of your voices. Vinayaka or Vinayaka. Vinayaka, Vinayaka. Instead of getting angry and instead of complaining to the authorities who would not pay attention to you, just sit down here behind the scene. Vinayaka, Vinayaka, or sing Hanuman Chalisa. The traffic may not ease up, but your mind will be at ease. I guarantee it. Devotees, to further answer now the question of my son, Keshavji, we look at the forms or the symbolism of Ganesha. In ancient India, two sets of people, the Shivites and the Vaishnavites. The Shivites, of course, follows up Lord Shiva, Vaishnavites follows up Lord Vishnu. They're always fighting each other, you know. And they formed a union. When, when two parties are fighting, you, you come to common ground, you have a, a body of negotiators, so to speak. Then. So they formed a union and they stopped fighting. And how did they stop fighting? They created an image, an idol, half elephant to represent the Shivites and half man to represent the Vaishnavites. 
Thus they formed an image of Ganesha. And they both worship, worship the same form. And all the fighting stopped. The lesson in this piece of the Katha tonight from Ganesh Puran. We too should look at the image of Lord Ganesha and unite. Like Vivishan said to Ravan in Ramayana, we'll sing a little Ramayana tonight. He says, Vivishan is saying to the demon king Ravan, good evil resides in all. Good and evil resides in all. And the scriptures tell us where there is unity, there is strength. Where there is disunity, there is destruction. If you look at many organizations in this world today, wherever there is disunity, there is always destruction. United we stand, divided we fall. We need to teach some of these politicians in Washington this. Now looking at Lord Ganesha, his big head symbolizes wisdom, high intellect. Think big, think outside the box, that's Ganesha. Wide vision, his ears hear all. So in other words, hear more, listen to more and speak less is what he's saying. His small eyes, deep concentration, sadhana, meditation. See less things that are materials and look inside. Ask the question, my kong, who am I? See equal. See equal. See divinity and see no evil. When you place the chandan, the tikka, as we call it, that sandalwood piece, in the third eye, first the ajna chakra, so that we may have pure thoughts. We place the chandan next to the ears, the earlobes, so that we may listen to things that are pure. We place the chandan below the chin, so that we may speak only words that are pure. And of course, the chandan on the two wrists, so that we will do pure things, things that are uh, 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 sattvic. He has one tusk, one is broken off. 
ek adanta is called avoid dualities you know there there's a saying some people speak with with forked tongue you speak in two different parallels no devotees stand up for the truth stand up for what is right ek adanta that is what ganesha teaches us in ganesha principle his large trunk speak less highly efficient adaptable the tusk if you look at pictures or murtis of lord ganesha some the tusk will swing to the left those are called itam peri and those the tusk to the right they are called vitam peri now my son was concerned how this big fellow sitting on that little mouse what kind of disadvantage is that the what is the mouse is called the mushak mushaka bahana the mushaka the mouse symbolizes anger greed desires attachment love lust sorry not love lust envy ego conceit dishonesty no control whenever there is a mouse or there is there's a, a, a rodent problem what happens destroys everything once in my home in florida i had a, a infestation in my garage it came from the outside let me tell you something if those fellows had a chance they would eat it the metal the iron too everything was ripped apart plastic wood box you name it everything was gone electronics even they went into now we have defined that ganesha is the largest living vertebrate there's nothing bigger than an than an elephant that we know of in creation macrocosm riding the microcosm we must ride the desires and never let desires ride us this is what the mouse is symbolizing the mouse is desires and lord ganesha is riding desires what are desires i want this i want that i want to drive a mercedes benz i want to live in a mansion i want to live by the ocean i want i want i want the desires and what happens when desires are not fulfilled it become very sad when the desires are not fulfilled and the minute the desires are in control of us our whole life becomes miserable because we go to sleep at night what am i going to do in the morning what am i going to get how am i going to get this same thing you wake up in the morning going after the things that are material i ask you a question tonight don't answer me just think in your mind when was the last time you had a conversation a one on one conversation with your god i'm not speaking about making the aarti or offering flowers and prasad to me or mata chakita nothing is wrong with that but when was the last time that your heart you reached out with your heart to bhagwan or even lord ganesha says lord listen to me i want to have a conversation with you and let the tears flow from your eyes and wash the feet of that multi that is the communication that is the desire we should we should be trying to, to fulfill not the ones the material ones that one day when we would leave this when the soul leaves this body and our hands are like this in the coffin not a single thing goes with us i'm sure you have attended funerals have you seen any any valuables go in the box or in the crematorium i doubt very much devotees let us look at another aspect we all have computers what guides the computer the mouse if you don't have a mouse in trouble i'm an it guy i can tell you that Sometimes the biggest problem in in in, an, in the IT world, if you're troubleshooting something, is the mouse. I can't guy can't you know the guidance, right? So the mouse is there for that purpose. Now, a quick analysis. The family of Lord Shiva. We're speaking about their vahanas, the vehicles now, and how they all live in harmony. Listen carefully. Lord Shiva, the father, patriarch of this family. What is his what is his vehicle? Who is his vehicle? Somebody said it. Nandi. What is Nandi? What kind of animal? A bull, right? Now, he also wears a garland of snakes. Okay, let's put that aside for a second. Mother Parvati, the divine goddess. What is her vehicle? The lion or the tiger. The lion or the tiger feeds on the bull. That's his food. That's their food. Lord Ganesha we just covered his his uh, vehicle which is the mouse the busha snakes around Lord Shiva's neck feed on mice okay finally the brother kartike what is his vehicle 
peacock. The peacock feeds on snakes. So you see. Yet, they all live in peace and harmony. They don't trouble anybody. That is, the, that is the, the message I leave with you tonight is, why can't we as human beings, despite all of the differences that exist in this world today, why can't we live like, I will call them the Mahadeva family, the family of Lord Shiva. Devotees, this, this is the example that is set. And finally tonight, Let us consider every moment as divine. Every single moment as divine. Consider every day as a sacred day. You do not need to wait for Vinayaka Chaturthi or Navratri to worship God. No. Consider every moment as divine and make proper use of it. Tomorrow may never come. When you wake up in the morning, I was having a discussion with my Didi earlier. On. We look for the sun. I live in Florida. We have the sun is there all the time. It's a sunshine state, right? And if you're lucky, you catch a, a beautiful sunrise in the morning coming off the Atlantic Ocean. We give praise and thanks to Surya Nala. When you wake up in the morning, instead of looking at the cell phone to check who messaged you the night before or how many followers you have on, on social media, firstly, look up to this stuff, the, the ceiling or whatever, wherever your room is. Look to the ceiling and chant these words, Lakshmi Narayan. Lakshmi Narayan. Thank you, O Lord, for allowing me to see another day. Take me, guide me, bring me back safely as I serve mankind. And of course, we know what we follow. When we have more time, we'll go into this. Look at the hands, the palm of the hands. Karagre Vasate Lakshmi, Karamadhe Saraswati, Karamule to Govindam Prabhate Karadarshanam. You take the blessings like this, then you will proceed. Devotees, Instead of focusing their attention on God, devotees today are bothered too much about tune and rhythm. Not, not knocking my musicians. Tune and rhythm. No doubt, the tune and the rhythm are also essential in bhajans. Without tune and rhythm, bhajans are going to be consumed. You wouldn't want to listen to them. But once you fill your heart with the divine love, the tune and the rhythm will automatically take of itself and if you concentrate too much on the tune and rhythm you will not be able to think about God then it becomes a concert instead of a tea you see just as an iron ball cast in fire becomes one with the fire to a red hot your mind should become one with God when you sing when you sing when you chant and you, you, you in kirtan imagine visualize God right in front of you that you're singing for him or her, depending on the, on the form of the deity. Water can never be separated from milk. Likewise, your mind should always be merged with God, just like that water mixed with the milk. One who realizes this principle of unity is a true human being. And do not ever limit your worship of God just to the festival days as we spoke about them. Each and every moment must be spent in contemplation of God. Devotees, may the blessings of Lord Ganesha be upon one and all. And may his Shakti remove any and all obstacles from our path. Creating the ways for positivity, eternal love for all creations, love and respect for Mother Nature, the environment, and Dharti Mata, Mother Earth. There's a lot of focus in this world today, especially in the UN, United Nations, about Dharti Mata. They call it Earth. They, they, what, what is it called? A save the soil. Right. They, are now, they now realize that there's something called save the soil. We as Hindus, our scripture teaches us the Harti Mata. As a matter of fact, when we perform puja as Pandits, Ganesh Puja, what's the next puja? Gauri Mata Puja, Mother Earth, the Harti Mata. We use Gobar to symbolize that. And then Kalsa Puja. You see, now man is now realizing what our scriptures have taught us for years, years, thousands of years. My humble gratitude to all of you for being part of this beautiful evening. And those of you joining us on online as well, we have a tremendous online audience. We say to all of you from the beautiful devotees here at Lakshmi Narayan Mandir in, in Houston, North Houston, we say to you, Jai 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 Ganapati Bhagavan. Thank you for this evening of powerful and uplifting devotion. The energy is strong in here, and I can feel, certainly feel your love. 
May your lives be positively charged with the Vinayaka principle. And may you always be filled with peace and happiness. I urge all of you. I'm sure you already have it in your homes, but if not, yes, Mama. You see, she already agrees. If you can, a simple image of Lord Ganesha, perform his puja at home. I think you have ocean access here as well. If you can, go down to the ocean on, on Wednesday, whenever the, the uh, Visarjan is, and make an offering to Ganga Mata. Devotees, may your lives be positively, positively charged with this Vinayaka principle, and may you always be filled with peace, love, and happiness. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Prem Sikulaga Janan Swami Ki Jai There's a beautiful bhajan I would like to sing all of us to join and sing. Oh Ganapati says, Every day I prostrate at your lotus feet. Your feet take away my pain and suffering. Each day I meditate with my mind to the Lord of Strength. Remove all obstacles from my path. You are the Lord of Strength and the intelligent son of Bhagwan Shiva. Your mercy is limitless and your kindness has no bounds. I may have come to you because you are most merciful. Devotees, this bhajan composed by Dadaji, the late Pandit Haryo Mishanaji. You all know Dadaji from the West Indies. And Dadaji was blind, by the way. At the end of, towards the end of his life, he became blind. But his love and his vision for Bhagwan allowed him to compose these beautiful bhajans that he has left for us. He sings for him. Your mercy is limitless, O Lord. Your kindness has no bounds. 
I have come to you because you are the most merciful. Tonight, devotees, I want you to look at the Murti of all Ganesha. Whatever pain, whatever problems, whatever sufferings, whatever issues that you may have in life tonight, place it to the feet of Vinayaka and ask him, O Lord, please remove all of these obstacles from my life. Join it, Pina. <laughs> it's our picky handoff. <laughs> Let us all please stand for final arti. So all of you joining us online as well, I know it's uh, we are one hour behind the uh, East Coast. I am in Central time. Tomorrow night we'll have Satsang live again from 7 to 9 p.m., which is 8 to 10 p.m. your time in Eastern Standard Time from the uh, Sanatan and Dharamandir, which is in Houston as well. Uh, so please join us. Sorry. South Houston, thank you. So we in northeast right now, right? North, northwest. Oh, somewhere north, all right. I'll get it right. Ready? Ready? Aryom sajan chavach samyuktam vahina yojitam maya deepam grahan devashe prai lokyam timirapaham yanikani chapapani janmayantar kitanicha 
Tani Tani Vinashanti Padakshanam Pade Pade. We blend the voices and we sing our Tina to Lord Ganesha. Jai Ganesh, Jai Ganesh, Jai Ganesh Deva. Dear Prabhu, 
आनंद लाता ज्ञान हमको कीजिए सिख सारे दुर्गुणों को दूर हमसे कीजिए प्रभु लीजिए हमको शरण में हम सदाचारी बने ब्रह्मचारी धर्म रक्षक वीर व्रत धारी बने ओम विश्वानी देवा सकित दुर्ता में पड़ास्वा तुम्हें माता च पिता तुम्हें तुम्हें बंधु सका तुम्हें तुम्हें विद्या द्रविण तुम्हें तुम्हें सर्व मम देव अस तो सदगमया तम सोमा ज्योतिर्गमया मृतुर्मा अमृत मेरी बिंदी सुनो है राम 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 मेरी बिंदी सुनो मंगल भगवान विष्णु मंगल गरुज मंगल पुंदरी काश मंगलाये तनोहरी ओम शांति 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 प्रेम से पुरुक जानन स्वामी की उमापति महादेव की पवन पुत्र हनुमान की भाग्य वृंद्रावन में हरिदान की जगदंब भवानी शंकर माता की सत्य सनातन धर्म की नमो पार्वते पतये हर हर महादेव जय जय सीता राम सब कोई जय जय गणपति प्लीज एंजॉय दी भोजन एंड रिफ्रेशमेंट एट बिन प्रिपेयर आई मी लुक पावर टू सी you all again in satsang sometime soon tomorrow night of course if you have nothing else to do or no plans please join me at the sanatan dharma mandir in south houston for satsang from 7 to 9 pm and then i'll be there again sunday morning from 10 to 12 at noon uh, we'll continue on this topic of ganesh ji as it is ganesh utsav time uh, once again pandandili prasad saying thank you so much god's blessings to each and every one of you and uh, may you always be loved and filled with peace to all of you online my online followers as well i say to you sita ram namaste and to chandau ji muniram once again happy 77th birthday to you mata ji will see you soon in new york city and uh, once again thank you for joining in tune in tomorrow night on the eastern standard time zone will be on from 8 to 10 pm i thank you god bless you jai jai sita ram sab ko sita ram thank you very much pandit ji thank you ji It was really nice having you here, and thank you for everyone who came out. It was kind of last minute, but everything's in place. So thanks to everybody for showing up. Um, so we have um, Arti and Parsa, and also food prepared for everyone. And again, special thank you to you, Padhichi. Thank you, Jay.